has the magic touch. Hi guys. I just have been feeding babies for a long time. <laughs> I guess that's it. You just know the magic magic stuff for babies and senior citizens. Hi. I'm gonna click on the light so you can see my burns. Oops. Oh, I wonder if it got unplugged. I bet it did. When they were trying to do the computer. They, I might have gotten unplugged when they were trying. Okay, we're going to do it without light. Oh, I miss you guys too. I miss the kitties too. Oh, that was awful. I saw so many cats there and um, I wanted to bring them all home. But Lynette, hi from Japan. Wow, that's amazing. It was so nice. It was so good to get away. Barb, did you see my burns? And I'm all swollen from the burns. <gasps> Very good. What were you thinking? I so we we bought well, we, <laughs> there's where my sundress oh ended. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm surprised that's not blistering. It is it now. Is. <laughs> Hi guys. Um Megan, I think if you sit back you'll be more underneath the oh, light. Maybe, oh yeah, maybe and I will. make your face lighter. I try to get oh. Um, Lynette to do that during boxes the other day, but I think she likes her corner. Yeah, she likes being in the corner. Hi. There, oh, yeah, you know what? That is a little bit brighter, isn't it? So. Yeah. They they were having computer issues, so. Um, oh, I will, Soup. Please let Barb know we appreciate everything she does for these special kitties. Oh, thank you. Barb is awesome. Thank so. You. While I was gone, I'm trying to point to Barb. There's Barb. <laughs> While I was gone, um, uh, Tasco hadn't felt very good. Um, I still do have to talk to Darcy on him yet, but uh, on the upside, he does seem to be improving with medication. We've been monitoring. That's why he's still in a pen. We've been monitoring um, his... Uh, you're right, and i got to fix it now. Eek. Ooh, too far. We've been monitoring his food and water intake. So, um, Barb just made a wonderful concoction and now he ate it. So, that's awesome. Barb is awesome. Yes. You have one kitty in Japan? I have one kitty at my house, Salem. So, um, thank you, Nance. I'm so glad to be home. Yeah, so I, I think Tasco's feeling, uh, feeling a little bit better. That's good. Big thanks to Barb for her little magic concoction that she made and uh they're they're enjoy he's enjoying it quite a bit i was very surprised at millie's babies they have like millie the, oh, the feral back. or i guess feral's not the best term but um because she is feral but she's not feral so i'm not sure you know i think she'll come around um i'm really surprised at her she seems to be um a little bit less scared of people now and her babies are huge so, well they're not you know they're not hey uh-uh no Come on, mama. be nice it's okay daggy you okay dog dog so Lynette weighed dag to yesterday and he has gained a pound <laughs> so I think he's been finding the magic snacker Sorry, this is still not right. It's gonna make me crazy. There we go. There we go. That's better. That's better. Um. So he's been he's been oh, having the sorry. magic snacker drawer lately. Um. So on the upside, I think Tasco's doing good. You know, we know that we're gonna have some problems, especially with some of these older kitties that we got. You know, and we know this. So we're just gonna keep trying to work on them and make them as comfortable and happy as possible. Um, do I have any plans too from now on? What do you mean, Hero? So, hi, Ethel. I'm just chit chatting. Nothing too exciting. I'm just checking in. I've missed you guys. I've missed the kitties a lot. Um, I had a lot of the volunteers sending me pictures, so that was nice because I missed them so much. Um, oh, sometimes they, they get in little squabbles. Um, 
I haven't put any cream on my back yet. Uh, I probably will though tonight before I go to sleep. So I will say that did, uh, that did definitely help on my legs. <laughs> so that's good. Um, yeah, so that's good. Oh, I did, I did have a lot of fun on the trip. Um, I got to see turtles. Um, I got to see a lot of fish. I snorkeled a lot. So that was interesting. I have never snorkeled before. That's a, have you ever snorkeled, Barb? No. It's, it's a very, uh, it's, it's almost a little, um, it's almost a little scary because you're having to breathe out of a tube. Yeah. And like, I would go underwater and then I would forget that I can breathe. So, <laughs> so then I'd be like, you know, and then like, I would see it. There was one point where I did, um, I did go under the water. Like it was fine on top of the water. And then I went underneath the water and there was like hundreds of little fish around me. And then it freaked me out. And I was like, Ooh! and I was like, I was like ripping the mask off. But, um, yeah, so. I did see the name with Mar or the rug with Marilyn's name on it. That was so pretty. They peed on it tonight. Oh no! Yes. They gave it a sprinkle. They yes. broke it in. Okay, yes. they broke it in. Um. Yes, I I my first snorkel that I had actually was faulty. Let me tell you, that was terrifying. I think that's why I was so scared to snorkel again. Um. And then the first time I ever got in the ocean, which I, it's it's technically the Caribbean Sea. Is that an ocean? I think it's an ocean. I'm not are. really sure. Um, but uh, the first time I got in the ocean, I was getting in right when my cousin was was getting out. And and I hadn't been in yet. And she was getting out and having a great time. And she's like, something bit me. And something had gotten her. So that was terrifying. She was a little scared. So and then I was scared to go in. But it was it was fun. I had a good time so so yeah everything went well I'm so happy the volunteers um did so wonderful and uh it, it was beautiful there I should post I didn't post any let me see here I should post some of the photos that I had taken but this was like the I want to almost make this a postcard oh and you know what I saw that was the coolest oh I will Tracy I'm gonna try the oh look here let me see if you can this is, let me see here if you can see this. Okay, ready, let me wait till it kind of, oh, that's a lizard. I was excited. I loved animals, but okay, look. look, there's fish. I'm not a very good underwater photographer, but there was fish on the ground. It was so cool. So that was neat. Um, do, do, do. I should post some of these tonight. Maybe I will do that. I didn't hardly post anything. Let me see here. There. Look, doesn't that look fake? It looks not real. It was like the sunset. Oh, that's very pretty. Yeah, it was. I love being around water too. It was. It was really, really neat. What you doing? Where? Where have I been? Um, I just came back from Curacao right now. Um, and I've been to Ireland and France and Italy and Canada. I'm missing some in there. England. Um, thank you. So it was, it was really fun. I had a great time. Um, yeah, thank you. But I definitely miss the kitties and I miss my own family. I didn't get home until about 2.33 in the morning. And uh, so that was, that was a little, you know, that was tiring. <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was good though. It was really good. So other than that, everything I think is going very well. The kitties have been on their best behaviors, right Daggy? And I saw the little playtime Dag that did on his, on the wheel. Did you have, um, did you have a, what over the water? Oh, a hut over the water. No, no, I didn't. No, it was just a, um, just a regular room. Hi, Beaker. So, 
Yeah, no, it was just a regular um, balcony, but it was really neat because um, I had a really great shot of the the um, the ocean, and then they had a lot of events going on that night that we could watch perfectly fine from our balcony and didn't have to do anything, so that was really good. My knee actually did really well. Um, I think the day that I had done boxes before I left, remember I think I, I said that my knee had popped and it, it felt better. I think it just started improving after that. And so it was a little sore on like day one and two, I think. But uh, after that, it was just 100% normal. So I was so grateful. So what a, what a good thing. But I am quite tan and burnt, if you can see. Let's see here. If you look, <laughs> look at that. That is how burnt I am on my hair. <laughs> yeah, so a little burnt. It, it was wonderful. It was great. So, yeah. I did have aloe and that customs took it from me. Yeah, so I'm going to definitely put some, some more lotion on tonight, but it's, it's a little tender. Yeah, it's a little bad. I think um, what happened, no, we, we had cotton lotion, um, but my cousin had picked up lotion there some sunblock and um halfway you know I had lotioned up in the morning and then like a little bit into the trip she had gotten out her lotion to the one that she had bought there and put on and I don't know if it was like old or I, I don't know what but that's the one I put on and her and I both got horribly horribly burnt so I don't know if it was bad lotion or <laughs> what but yeah so I won't be doing that again Ooh, lidocaine spray. Ooh, that might that might be lovely actually. So so yeah, but everybody's good. Um, I'm happy. All the babies are getting really big, and I'm gonna start letting some of them out. Probably I might do it tomorrow. We'll see. Was there oil? It might have been oil. I don't know. I'm thinking it was bad lotion. Has Mabel had her kittens yet? She has not. But um, I did get um, word from Olivia while I was there that she finally, she can feel them now. So the babies are, and she's the sweetest cat. <clears throat> I am getting a little blisters, yeah. Yeah, so. Um, yeah, so ma no kittens for Mabel yet, but she's starting to feel, feel the kittens rolling around, so. I, they, I imagine it will be very shortly. She is actually further behind than I thought she was. She seemed like she was ready to go at any moment. So I'm surprised it's taken this long. But yep. So hopefully we'll get them out and she'll be doing good. But yeah, other than that, it because it was it was a it wasn't even a liquid. It was a gel. But it, because it was a gel and it was oversized. So how is Carl? Oh my gosh. He is the most rascally cat or kitten, really. Um, he is just full of it. He was all sorts of wild. So I'm trying to debate. I probably could start letting them out now. Um, like Carl and Magellan and Rumpelstiltskin. I probably could start letting them out. I'm just scared, you know, because they're so little and... Um, I'm afraid they're going to get stuck somewhere or in a crevice or something like that. Carl is an absolute nut. Yes. Thank you, Pascal. Um, he is, he is just the wildest boy. Um, Marbles loves him, but she also acts like, um, the older sister that like loves him, but also gets annoyed by him wanting to attack her. And then she attacks him and it's this big old... They snuggle together. They're very sweet together. They are very, she is very tolerant. Yeah, very, she lets him kind of do with his thing. And then when she gets tired, she's like, okay, stop, stop it. You know, <laughs> so, they're doing really good. Um, uh, Tigress and Magellan and Rumpelstiltskin, they're doing really good. They had their little, um, I think I told you guys that they had what's called a herpes dermatitis, which is a new thing I hadn't heard of. But they had herpes dermatitis, so we have been treating that for a while. 
and um, they are looking just so, so much better. So Miss Raggles, Miss Raggles is wonderful too. I actually wouldn't mind putting her out probably tomorrow. I'd like to wait till a day when, you know, someone's here for a long time, you know, um, she's done really, really good. She is just a little happy ball of energy. So I'll probably put her out. I'm going to try maybe tomorrow. We'll see when I'm here for a while. She is very beautiful. I can say we do have an official hold on Raggles. So that's something new. I also have an official hold on, um, gosh, you didn't realize you would be getting a, a an update here. Um, I have a hold on Raggles. I also, I also have a hold on Rumpelstiltskin and Magellan together. I was so happy. Rumpelstiltskin and Magellan together. I, I am not surprised on Ruggles either. I am, I actually had um, a couple applications that had come in very fast for her. And um, I, I, both of them looked very, very good, but you know, I went with the first in line. So yeah, I'm very happy about Rumpelstiltskin and Magella. And I actually got that news when I was on vacation and I was bursting. Uh, Cause the family originally wanted um just Magellan and I was like you know you're kind of heartbroken you're like oh her best friend is uh, Rumpelstiltskin and you're just so you know you don't want them split but you know they're not they can't all stay together and and all that so um I'm very excited hi Stacy you know Stacy it's been a pretty calm week um I got caught up on a lot of my emails today I still have a few Thank you guys for being a little gentle on the emails too while I was gone. It made it much more easier to get back in the flow of things that I didn't have 50 million gazillion emails. So that was nice. Um, yeah, so it's it's been, I'm really happy for those. Oh, Jenny, I know. I would love, love, love for someone to like focus on some of these olders that I know are going to be like a little bit more of a challenging placement because I imagine, you know, Mr. Darcy, um, uh, Tasco, um, oh my goodness, Sanford and Sanford and oh my goodness, I'm gone for a week and I forget all my cat's names. Sanford and I'd ask Barb, but I know she doesn't know. Right, Barb? Yep. <laughs> You're talking about names. Yeah. Piet. Piet. Thank you. Sanford and Piet. Um, oh, the mods are like, Piet, Piet. <laughs> Thanks, mods. Um, you know, Willow. I would just, oh, I'd love for someone to snap one of them up because they're, they're awesome kitties. They're awesome. And I think they would do just wonderful um, in a home where they can you know just be be themselves and you know let them live out their you know three months to three years who knows and just let them live and be loved on I would that would be just so great I, I very much hope for that so bridge Ilse they would be too yeah bridge and Ilse I think both of them would be most ideal in a single home in my opinion most ideal um, and I think both of them, especially Ilse, Ilse needs someone that understands her, that, um, will let her just be a cat and she will come to you when she wants attention. You know, she's, she's such a great kitty. She really is. Um, she does love to play. She likes, um, she likes that, but when she wants to be done, she wants to be done. And I think someone just needs to understand that about her. How old is Bridge actually? Um, no. Gosh, I don't have my list in front of me. I don't know if Ahmad knows off the top of your head, but I may even pull up my shelter software. Oh, I'm sorry, Stacy. That's not easy for sure. I love seniors too. Prior to, um, I don't, Mods, I don't know if you know Bridges off. I, I think she's only technically a few years. Um, 
but uh, I, my goal in life before buying the rescue was I wanted to just go through and just adopt completely senior citizen animals. That's, that's all I wanted. Okay, thank you, VRS. I, she's not very old. I knew she was around two or three, so that makes sense. I love all of them. Yeah, I don't care. Hey, speaking of Bridge, she's like, did you call me? She's like, I'm the prettiest muted calico girl with a little orange tip tail. Thank you, BRS. Appreciate that. Yeah, she's just a baby. Says, Aren't you? Oh, look. She's like, Spotlight Bridge. Oh, Zoe, Zoe, it was wonderful. Thank you. Bridge. Look over here, Bridgie. Hi, baby. She's like, look how cute and pretty I am. I'm Bridge. Adopt me. She's so cute. I don't have the goats yet. Um, I planned on probably getting them over the next week. I might just give myself a little bit of time to heal up from the sunburn so I can really interact with them. But um, but I'm excited. Did I tell you that, Barb? What? We're getting goats. I heard. Yeah. Um, uh, Sunshine and Lucy. Who's going to take care of them? We will. You will? Yeah. Yeah. Cindy and... Us goats okay. are actually surprisingly like super easy. I actually asked oh, Jackie, good. um, well, months and months and months ago because I told her I wanted to get goats. I'm like, yeah, I really want to get goats, but I know nothing about taking care of them. She's like, oh my god, goats are like the easy. She's like, you're fine. You're, she's okay. like, call call a farrier in twice a year, have them trim the hooves, and huh. yeah, they just kind of munch on the land. And in the winter, you'll want to feed them some goat grain, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. I know. I was like, well, that's kind of fun. I think you're right. I think for um, uh, Lynette's grateful that I held off on the goats until she, until I'm back. So, yeah, they're just living, breathing lawnmowers, pretty much. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so. Oh. Well, fill out an app record. She's pretty. Oh, I sure appreciate you guys. So, um, dogs are easy too. Dogs are easy, but they do have to, they're, I think they're harder than cats for sure. Cats, well, I like the affection of dogs. Dogs have, I don't know how to say it, but better affection than yeah. cats. Like they, they show their affection more. Um, but dogs on the flip side, you know, you have to let out Patty multiple times in a day. Take him walk for walks. Yeah, take him for walks. That's the only and thing that has held me back from getting a small dog mm -hmm. is the fact that I know I don't go out. Can you put up a tiny fence? No. 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 Mm -hmm. Cause that's handy. No. They make goat chow. Yeah, like apparently you go to the farmers market or not farmers market, but um, you know, pet supply stuff and just get goat grain come here okay but jump up here not not on the ouchy part come on oh, what dylan come on zeke come on um yeah actually you know eric just took ours out for a little a little walk today and they were so cute it, i agree jenny cats are a thousand percent easier um cats you can like slip away for the day you know or even night and, and they're totally fine. But but dogs are like more loyal and like affectionate. So yeah, it's kind of a goofy trade off. They they are much worse. I, lo I do love my dogs. I love them. Um, I, I will probably always have dogs. Always, always, always. I just hope my, my next set of dogs that we get um, will like cats. <laughs> so whereas mine don't right now. Well, one's super allergic and he also doesn't like cats but they are harder to care for although cats i think they hide their sicknesses way more than dogs um i could tell by like how my dogs look or anything if there's something wrong with them cats uh so much different yes i will definitely make sure they're not allergic to kitties i probably still will do the the old dog thing yeah yeah get a little yeah get a little rescue doggy um, huh? I probably still plan on getting the old senior citizen dogs when I don't have my two right now, but 
I love, I do love them. Doggy, doggy, doggies. So I have little old men dogs or old girl dogs. You just missed it just to, re well, I don't know if you can rewind back that far, but I was giving magic lots of loveys earlier. Magic man. He's the one that came up to mama this morning. Oh, come on, get out, buddy. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to come out, Bart. Oh, well, let's go out the other door. Hi. <laughs> Help me, dear. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, no. That's for Derecho. And that's not your food. Yeah, ma Magic, he, he gets a lot of pets, actually. Go he just does there. not care for uppies. Yeah. I've tried, um, and sometimes... He will allow you to hold him, but it's it's for moments, and then he's like, please put me down. He does love attention. Yes, he does. Um, when are the goats coming? Probably within a week to two weeks. Gotcha. I gotcha. Magic does like getting brushed. That's one of his favorite things. So you'll see tomorrow. Actually, um, no, I think Edie, I think Edie is not, um, Edie is not coming in tomorrow. She has uh, tomorrow off. But um, I think she'll be here Sunday. How's Guppy doing? You know, I haven't even seen Guppy. Guppy, I tease because she's a night owl. Guppy Goose. Oh, Magic Man. They, they were just asking for scritches oh, for you. For all that. Do you want scritches? Do you want scritches? Oh, oh. Oh, oh my gosh. He says, look how big I am, guys. Look how big I am. I see you're very big. Yes, I see. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, look how long he is, everybody. Do you see? He's like 55 feet long. Wow, you're the biggest cat ever. Yes, you are. Yeah. Okay, can the cam see this? Oh, him? <laughs> okay, can you, can you, I think you can. <laughs> can uh -oh. you see Ramsey? <laughs> he's got his head up in the air. This is what yeah. Ramsey does when he's like, no, I I do not want. Look, yeah, and he'll put his food down. down. Mm -hmm. He's so funny. Okay, you got food on you. Oh, here. Do you want me to get you something, Barb? Oh, here. I, <clears throat> I don't know where. I haven't seen Guppy yet. Guppy Goose. Guppy, Guppy Goose. I tease her because she's much like Mama. She's a night owl. I have to go see her. Oh yeah, that's a big doctor no. <laughs> Yeah, she, he's hilarious because people are like, oh, no. No, I promise, you guys. He, he tells you, you know, a lot of people think CH cats don't, um, you know, you know, can't do things. What's that? Communicate. Yes. Yeah, communicate or whatever. They, I promise you they do. And if you were here as much as, as we all are, you, you would know. You would know. Egypt has been a very good boy. Even though he didn't come see Mama today, I think he was mad. So, <laughs> you're right, Kristen. He has good control of that head when it's a no. Does he not? When he says no, he, he like. He means no. He means no, yeah. So, no talking him into it. Um, yes, uh, Dagda is back. You can, Right behind Barb's like, there, there's Dagda. Um, do you know when Friday night Mary will be back? Mary has been super duper duper tied up at work it has just been she has just been having one heck of a time and at um you know she'll she'll get one thing straightened out and then something else pops up so so big big hugs to mary we love her and she will be back i just don't know the exact date do you know barb no any ideas i don't know no. um i think her tournament but what is this april may wait no it's may you know, june i think tournaments end I, I do. Okay. Yes. Yeah, because I knew she was like just about ready to come back and then yeah. someone got sick. Did you want yeah. this, buddy? Did you want that? Is that what you want or do you just want the bit? You don't See, want that's very soft. I like this. He looked like he was trying to want to come out, but she probably brought me up for nothing. <laughs> she should have asked me if I wanted to be earlier. <laughs> Okay, well, I am going to, it was wonderful, Heather, thank you. Oh, I did have a fantastic time. Thank you, Christine. Um, they took it, oh, good, I'm sure. 
Yeah, he's pro- you're very much right, Jenny. He's probably looking for his junk food. He's like, where's my mama baby cat? That's what I want. Here, let me see if he'll... There, you get that much. Careful, don't hurt your paw. Here, you want junk food? Oh, you have junk food. Barb already gave you big fibber. He's like, I didn't have no, he already has junk food. (laughs) He's like, I have nothing, I'm so hungry. Silly boy. Oh, oh, I love that you guys miss Mary so much. We tell her all the time we miss her. Um, Yeah, she had some. Especially me. Especially Barb. (laughs) Big thanks uh, again. Big thanks to Barb because Barb's been filling in for her a lot. Um, yeah, she had some work issues coming up and then she was planning on uh, coming back and then she had a family health issue. So, yeah, it's they're clapping at Barb. Oh, thank you, Barb. Thank you. Is this how you do it? Yes, there you go. Curtsy. I have to curtsy. Um, okay. Let me see here. Oh. You sent me a friend. I'll have to look, Jamie. Oh, gotcha, Jay. Okay. All right. Oh yes, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> she's she's been wonderful. I'm so grateful for Barb because that's it's such a huge help. So oh, okay. Oh okay. Sneeze it out. Sneeze it out, sir. Oh, you did. Okay, good for you. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to steal this wet wipe you have right I'm here. I'm so sorry I didn't see that. Oh, so, come so here. Sorry. Come here. No, no, no. Come here. I'm not letting you walk around with that in your, for your life. Oh, God, buddy. You should grab it with your hand like I do. Oh, Barb. Oh. <laughs> oh. She don't have a way to get it before he eats well, it. Well, yes, that's very true. Oh, look. Daddy's nursing. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to head out, guys, and get ready to leave for the night. Um, I still have suitcase to unpack. I have to work in the morning. All that good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and we still him sneeze it out. And he's like, I do. I sneeze it out, mama. He said, you're a good boy. All right. We love you, Barb. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you. Is Otter still staying here? Yes, for now. I do think that probably will. Um, I think that'll probably be... A semi-permanent thing unless we can you know fix his little potty issue which still is not quite resolved so despite despite meds so all right well i'm going to head out um i'm gonna try to see guppy real quick oh where's my otter bother otter bother ottery bother well he was here look at the head the deck that has gained a pound Although, like, say, Rena, Rena and he, I discovered, have the same, you gave him the same birthday. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you okay. You see Petite Rena against, where'd he go? Dagda? Yeah. Well, does Rena have a magic snack door? That might be no, the... No, but she ran out yesterday, got out of the house. Oh, no. I am running all over I the place. I bet under the bed, over the bed, and every door, maybe the door open just in case she's in there or not running. I can do that when I'm in. Sure, okay. Okay, man. Um, I look everywhere. I said to myself, I was like, oh, there's something wrong. There's something wrong here. Because oh. I popped open a can of food, and that usually gets her immediately. So I walked outside, and I like, really, really, where are you? Must you just take your jewelry outside? That wasn't my first word. Here's Otter Bobotter. Hello. Otter says, Oh, I wish I had a visitor to come love on me. Oh, I wish, I wish. Otter Bobotter. He's still very much a baby. Otter go kisses. Away, go away, go away. I'll give you kisses, Otter Botter. Oh no, you got the hiccup? Oh dear. Oh, you got. Oh, oh, 
here. You want to go down? Got the sneezles. The sneezel, sneezel. Get it going. Oh, he's like, now I'm good. Isn't he so handsome? He's still very much. It's like his like body's growing, but his head's still tiny. Is that? That otter. Oh. Okay, now I gotta go see Guppy Goose. Gup, gup, gup. Guppy, Guppy Goose. Where are you, Gup, Gup Goose? I would say, what does he look like? But that's not. She's right. all wet. Oh, here's my Guppy Goose. Guppy, Mama missed you. Oh, there's the goose. Oh, Guppy Goose. are coming up soon. <laughs> very, very soon. Yeah. For the volunteers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I didn't hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not good. Thanks, Jackie. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm like, Jackie's like, I think all the appliances are going to go. Time for me to head out. Uh-huh. I'll send her. I'm sure she did. <laughs> yeah, so in, in, in other news, while I was gone, we did find out that our, um, our air conditioner has stopped working. So, well, died. I, yeah, yeah, it has died. So it's 4500 to get a new one. 4500 You try to say things so nicely, and it's just simple. It died. It died. <laughs> It decided it didn't want to be in our employment anymore. Yeah, see? <laughs> see? I could say. Just like when she gave up. It's terrible. That's going to be the name of the fundraiser. Yeah. <laughs> she gave up. Okay, guys. Guppy Goose, I'm glad to see you. 